Okay, everybody, so today we are going to be pretty much doing Python operators. It's just a lot of memorization, not really much of a thing you need to learn. It's just memorization. So first we're going to touch the main things that everyone should know, which you should already know, like I said. Addition, subtraction, addition, and division. So those are pretty much the four different signs. So pretty much, let's say x is 5 and y is 3. Let's print those two. And then I'm just going to save it under booleans. Oops. And I actually it'll, says, it'll say 8 because whenever 5 plus 3 is 8. And let's make that a minus. Save that. And that's a 2. And then let's multiplication. 15 and then division that's a 9 and it'll say 3 so those are the four operations and then there's one that's extra so let's say it's two asterisks so this is pretty much an exponent so it'll just raise 9 to the power of 3 so it, it'll just say x is equal to x to the power of y. So that's pretty much what that is. So those are the four simple operations plus an extra exponential bonus. So now let's get into, I'd say, the four different types of ways that you can tell that if they're equal, not equal, greater than, less than, and so on. So those are pretty much notated by this. So what this one is, is that is it is equal to. What this one is, is that it's not equal to. This one is greater than. This one is less than. This one is greater than or equal to. This one is less than or equal to. So that's pretty much what that is. Those are the six things that we're going to be covering next. So let's say x is five and then And then let's say y is 5. And then let's print x is equal, equal y. As you see, it'll say true because x is equal to y. They're kind of the same thing. So let's say x is 5 and y is 5. And then let's make this an exclamation mark, which means it's not equal. And then let's see what it says. It'll say false because they are equal. They're not, they are equal. So this is basically booleans, which I kind of covered in the last video. So you can go check that out. Links in description below. So let's say X is, and then Y. Let's make this like a six. Okay, that's true. Because six is greater than five. Let's put that as a less than. And then I just need to say true. If, if, let's say if this was a five, and that was a five and we saved it, it would say false because it's false and there's how it works. 
And then last, we have the last two greater than or equal to. That should be true, I believe. Yep, it's true because it's greater than or equal to. And then less than or equal to should also be true because X and Y are the same thing. And it says true. So that's that. Next, we're going to be learning about pretty much assigning variables so that um, they can add them up and equal each other. I will demonstrate that because I'm not exactly a good explainer. So let's say x is y, or x is 4, it's my bad. Let's print x. And I see it'll say 4. So let's say x is 4. And then let's say x is plus equal to 3. So what's going to happen is that the result will be x is equal to x plus 3. So the 4, the 4 and the 3 will be added. Well, let me get rid of that. Now she it'll say seven. Let's make that a minus. So the same thing with addition, it'll say x is equal to x minus three. And it will say one. And then let's make this a multiplication. That will say twelve. And then four divided by, and that's a one. So those are pretty much the um, ways that you can do. It's kind of like substituting in the equation to solve. So let's do two asterisks and see what will happen. So ultimately what will happen is that it'll raise, this number will be raised to that number so it'll be 4 to the power of 4, which is 256. So that's what that is. That's a little bit extra, like I did before. So, so next, we're going to be pretty much learning about three different functions, the and, the or, and the not. So let's say x is 5, and let's say print x is greater than 3 and x is greater than 10. Let's try it. As you see, it'll say true. This is once again a boolean, which is in the last video. Once again, links in the description below. So x is 5 and then we can print that. So as you see, 5 is greater than 3 and it is less than 10. So both of those statements are true, so it's true and it prints true. But let's say we flip the sign. So I just see, so once again, it'll say false, or it will say false because this one is false. It'll, it'll only print if both of them are true, not if one's true and one's false. So next is just pretty much the or function. So let's make that an or and then flip that sign. So it'll print true if one of them is true. Let's say if both of them aren't true. Then it'll say false because it only prints if one of them are true. And then let's say if um, x is greater and then let's try that. I believe. Oh yeah, it's a false, yeah. I repeated that. So yeah, you pretty much get the gist. Or will only work if one of them is true and will work if both of them is true. So next we are going to learn about the not and this is the last function to learn. So whenever it's not, it will reverse the answer. So let's say x is greater than three and x is less than 10. Let's do that. And oh, oops is five as you see it'll say false because these are true inside but since we put a not not reverses the answer 
So if it's true, then once we put the not function, we'll say false and then vice versa. So next we'll learn about the is and is not functions. These are pretty simple and straightforward. So let's say x is 5 and y is 5 and z is x. Let's say print x is y and let's try it. And it's true because they're the same thing. And then let's say print x is z. It will say true. And then we included that one, so both will say true. Let's get rid of that one. And then let's say x is equal to y. And it will say true. So all of the statements are true because they are. And then let's say x is 6. And then let's say if they're equal. So it'll become false because they are not equal and we said they are equal, which they aren't. So next is pretty much the not is function. So let's say print x, or not not is, it's is not, is not y. Let's make that a 5 again. It will say false because it is y, but since we said it is not, it will reverse it and it will say false. So let's say x is z, which once again will say false because they are and is not reverses it. And then let's say x does not equal y, which once again will say false because they are equal. So that's pretty much that. So those are the few things to remember in this video. So it's all memorization once again, and there's like not really anything to learn. So I hope you like this video and learn something new.